Hi everybody, it's Maria Bird. It is February 17th. That means uh, here in America it's President's Day, so happy President's Day to all of you. And everywhere else it's Monday, so happy Monday to all of you. I guess it's Monday for everybody, so happy Monday to everyone. Today uh, we have a waning moon, which means that the moon is appearing to look smaller in the sky. So the moon is going through phases and we go through phases as well. So last month we were talking a little bit about uh, how the moon reduces and so we were reducing the excuse, we were reducing the clutter in our life and today I am going to talk about phases and um, seasons and change and how change affects our lives. Uh, how we allow for change or how we don't allow for change. And so the constant in life is change. If without change, we don't grow. Uh, we need change in order to grow, in order to uh, move forward, in order to make life better. And sometimes, you know, maybe sometimes the life, you, you know, you're leading um, gets worse for a little while because we have challenges in our life that we have to uh, face and and move forward because again, you know, we're growing, we're learning, and we're moving forward in that. So how do we accept what is inevitable? I mean, it, it, things you know um, appear and things leave. So um, over the last few years. Um, I've lost some, you know, really good friends uh, through um, unfortunate circumstances. Uh, some died, uh, well, several died. And then, you know, there was uh, uh, several who have moved away or um, ha have moved on. And so accepting the change with grace and, and understanding that just because things change does not mean that we stop living or that we, um, uh, we don't move forward. And, and we, you know, um, many times people will, you know, uh, fight the change, go against the grain. And so, you know, Sometimes it, it, it's important to go against the grain and then other times it's it's better to go with the flow, you know, it, there's a flow. And so here we are, we're going through some changes, you know, the seasons change, the moon changes, moon changes every month, you know, so during the month, you'll notice that, you know, there's a new moon then there's a waxing moon, then there's a full moon, a waning moon, back to new moon. And it, that's a constant, but it's a constant change that is visible, you know, that, that can remind us, you know, that things are always changing. And then we also have the seasons that change. And, you know, this every, every year the seasons are different, but they're still, there's still a constant in them. So we might have warmer winters and then, you know, other years we might have colder winters. And then there are times when, you know, spring happens, you know, or summer happens overnight and um, other times it takes so long for summer to come. And we're in this constant um, waiting period, you know, in, in spring. You know, it, it's, a, it's a little chilly. It's not as cold as winter, but it's still a little ch chilly and we want spring to, uh, spring to end and summer to appear. So here we are. We're in the middle of uh, change in seasons. The seasons are going to change very, very shortly. We're going from winter into spring. And we're starting to know, notice the little changes that are appearing in front of us. So we notice that now when we wake up, it's a little lighter out. And, and when we come home from work, those people who are working from, you know, nine to five, you might notice that it's, we still have, you know, some sun 
and it, the sun is going to appear longer and longer as the days go forward. And so this is the beginnings of spring. In my area, I noticed the animals. I, um, and many people in my area would notice the animals. So there are certain animals that, uh, that hibernate. Uh, we have um, like skunks and bears and, and, you know, different types of animals that hibernate and now they're starting to appear. Uh, birds are starting to, you know, come back. They're coming back a little bit sooner, but that's because we had a warmer winter this year. So here we are, we're going through um, these changes and some of these changes are gradual and then other changes would be abrupt. And, and, and the the abrupt changes that are in uh, people's lives uh, is sometimes it's hard to handle, but you have to handle it. And how do you do that? You know, understanding that um, uh, things are, are not the same anymore. So uh, I'll give you an example. I lost a job. I was with a job for about you know, um, 13 and a half years, almost 14 years. And this is something, you know, I, I loved this job. I was very good at it. And, um, but it, it I wasn't learning anymore. I, it was stagnant and I needed to make a change and I didn't make the change and the universe made it for me. <laughs> and when the change happened, when I was let go, I was fine with it because I knew from past experiences that <clears throat> every time a change happens, I'm better for it. And so I was able to leave the place in grace. You know, uh, I was, uh, I hugged everyone. I even hugged the person that let me go. And uh, that is from years of practicing what I preach. So, and an understanding things are changing, but there are some things that remain. When you move forward, let's say in a video game, you have um, screens, you know, so we, we have, you know, certain things that, you know, there are patterns and we do these patterns over and over and over again until we get really, really good. So we can go to the next phase of the game, the next screen. And in that screen, things get a little bit harder, but we're going through different patterns again. It's, you know, it's a similar pattern, but a little bit of a change. And until we get through all of that, we don't go to the next level. And we all want to go to the next level. The next level is exciting. It's different. So I, I have a new job. And it's exciting and it's different. And um, in the meantime, in between times, I stepped my ass up in my business. And now my business is freaking thriving. I could not believe, you know, the amount of stuff that I was able to accomplish during my period of, you know, uh, a hiatus. Let's, let's say it was a hiatus. I was able to put two manuals together, which um, I wouldn't have been able to do had I been working. So I had two manuals together. I have half a book together and I am like going forward in full speed. And that would not have happened had I stayed at this place. So handling things with grace and moving forward. How do we do that? Well, we allow for the change. We allow for the flow. And uh, letting go. Just allowing to let go and be okay with it. So what changes? I mean, we have changes in jobs. We have changes in relationships. We have changes, you know, I mean, physical changes, our health changes. We have um, emotional changes. You know, because as we get, you know, older, we get a little bit wiser, wiser, let's hope. And so there are lots of changes that we go through. And so I thought maybe if you were um, 
ready, you know, or not ready. Uh, I thought maybe uh, we would go through a little guided meditation about change. And so I figured the seasons change and that might be an easy meditation to go through. So if you would, you know, just sit back, you know, and cross your arms and cross your legs. Keep your body straight because, you know, it's very important, you know, like when you're breathing in and out, you know, to allow for your body to um, be in good posture so the air can get, you know, through the body um, in a in a very um, easy way. I always say that, you know, um, it's, you know, your airways are like a straw, you know, if you're bent, it's not going to um, flow. And we want uh, to allow the flow in the body, in our lives. So if you straighten up the body and allow for flow, things become a little bit easier. So let's, you know, sit back, relax, take a deep breath, close your eyes. You know, we relax much easier and we can visualize much easier with our eyes closed. So, you know, if you would close your eyes and just take a deep breath again, relax, take another deep breath in and just release everything, you know, all the tension, let's release the tension in our necks in our shoulders, releasing the tension in our bellies, you know, untying those knots. Let's release the tension in our hearts, you know, unburdening our hearts. And just letting go, breathing easier in and out. And as you're breathing in and out, let me your imagination just for a little while. So we're going to go deep down into our imagination and just imagine that you're, let's say an acorn. We're going to use, you know, acorn, you know, in a tree image throughout the seasons. So just allow for yourself to be that acorn in the ground, you know, and right now we, it's, uh, it's a little warm out. It, well, it's not warm. It's 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 cold, but the ground is not um, hard like it was because we've had a lot of rain. We've had some snow, and so you're that's you're that seed in the ground. So in the ground, you know it's wet, but you're in that hard shell. And the ground may be a little hard, but you're noticing that the ground is starting to soften. And as the ground starts to soften, that shell starts to soften as well. You're noticing that it's damp and that things are changing. And you no longer want to be inside. You want to move out. And so you're taking a deep breath in and out because it's kind of scary going from being inside a shell into, you know, out, out of that shell, breaking through that shell. But I wonder what that would be like to just break through that shell, breaking out. And we want to, we want to be um, grounded when we break out. We don't want to just fly away. So just imagine roots growing from your feet, you know, growing from, you know, your body down into the ground. You're in the ground, but you want to be really solid in that ground because you want to have that solid foundation for when the changes do happen. And you're noticing that you've made a change for yourself. You have gone from a shell now breaking through and now you need to be 
grounded. So you're grounding yourself. You're growing those roots. And those roots are going deep down into the ground all the way to the core. And as they go through the core and as you become solid in the ground, noticing your arms stretching up, up to break through, break through those, you know, the ground that you're in. You want to break through that ground and all of a sudden a light appears and you feel the warmth, the warmth of the sun. And as you feel the warmth of the sun, you want to stretch and grow. So you're growing, you're growing upwards and you are grounded in the ground into the earth. Going towards the light, feeling the warmth throughout your body and noticing that things change. As you are growing, as your arms are stretched out, notice that there are buds appearing in the branches. So as you branch out into the world while keeping grounded and feeling the warmth of the sun, bringing up the nutrients from the ground from your foundation and the sun, the light, allowing the sun going through the branches into the core, into the trunk and the nutrients spreading throughout. So it's spreading from, you know, the, the trunk into the branches as you're branching out breathing in and out, noticing the buds appearing and now turning into leaves. Because as you branch out, things begin to grow. And so you're growing, it's spring. It is the time where all of these different animals come and they become part of you. You're branching out, the birds are coming and they're creating nests in those branches, in those lush leaves that are coming from you. Other animals come and they feed on you, but it's okay because you're abundant in your growth. And as you move up and forward and you're down deep in the ground, becoming more solid, solid within yourself. Notice the seasons change and it becomes hot. And as it becomes hot and as you grow, families come, they picnic under you, they read. They hide away from the sun because you provide them with the shade. And it's a time where people are out and about and we're all together. The birds, the animals, the people. And you're just one. And you're keeping, you know, branching out, becoming solid, and rooting yourself into the ground. And then the seasons change, and you notice that you have become so abundant and colorful that you can now allow to give that color, those leaves, and spread them around to everyone else. And also during that time, you may notice that I might feel a little bit colder and maybe a little bit lonelier. And some of those leaves may be not as colorful. 
and you know they're brown and some of those leaves are still colorful and they move around swirling through the wind as the wind goes in and out throughout your your branches you're still branched out you're still solid you're still solid in the ground And then you notice that times are changing and you don't need all of these things to get you through the winter. You know the winter is coming. So you let go of everything. You let go of everything that you have been carrying because the seasons are about to change again. And so, let go of everything. And then if you notice, you might be going within. Days become darker, they become colder. And as they become dar darker and colder, you go deep within the reflection. Your bark becomes darker harder because you're going to get ready for the dark season you're getting ready for reflection upon a new day of when the seasons change and just for a moment let's stay in that reflective space that reflective space where you've gone through all of these changes. Let's reflect how you grew, how you branched out, how you remained solid within the ground. You grew your roots, your foundation is strong. People came and left, animals came and left circumstances change but you remain the same well not necessarily the same you grew you grew tall you grew solid and very very steady and then the seasons change and spring comes around and knowing the growth that you have gone through the prior year, how might that help you grow this year as the seasons change? Whenever you're ready, just come back, feel, feel yourself coming back into your body, move your fingers, your arms, your legs, take a deep breath in, and whenever you're ready, open your eyes. So, how might that help you handle your changes? in grace with flow I even you know have some ideas of my own after I just went through that <laughs> so anyway today yeah, let's move forward and um, understand that there are going to be changes and how we might accept the changes with the wisdom that we have had in the past to move forward, to accept the challenges and uh, move forward in grace. So that is my wisdom for today. And uh, I will uh, probably uh, have a video next week. And 
enjoy the week and uh, uh, just go with the flow. All right. Bye.